This is a rapid fire tutorial on how to make flat textured ground. Place down a sheet, clone it, use the stretch tool to peel them back. Slap an auto guide gadget to the sculpt and set it to surface snap. Turn on obey auto guide and now the sculpt will stick to one axis. Place a control sensor gadget and select Remote Controllable. Place an action recorder down, and with grid mode off, record a wiggle. Now in play mode, you can see the wiggle, and using the options, you can amplify or smooth out the movement. Now connect the R2 output to the speed input of the action recorder. The more you press the trigger, the faster it moves. You can also change the max speed on a full press. Fun fact, with move controllers, both triggers act as R2. I prefer to use a switch to toggle the shaker plate. Now to start sculpting. Take your rock colors and give them a spin. Pick a rock shape, and with surface snap on, whichever grab point you use will be how deep the shape snaps onto the surface. Shape it and give it a spin. In smear mode, spread a few layers down. You don't need to cover every spot because you can take the smears and clone them. Using the stretch tool again, grab one of those sheets and adjust it for a new layer of depth. Now repeat the process. Use soft blend to flatten the rocks. Adjust the textures to your liking. Shape the sides and bottom. And you're done. Now to make grass. I like using an M&M shape. If grid mode is on, it'll snap rotate at 45 and 90 degree angles. So turn that off and turn on the upright option. Repeat the process from earlier without the layers. Change the flex, tweak the menus, fill in potholes, overlap the rock layer to your preference. Delete the shaker plate controls, group, clone, and you're done. Don't forget you can also use the shaker to spray paint textures onto your sculpts.